Many people are struggling with entries, and I was one of them, until I figured those three things out. Number one, entries don't mean nothing if we don't have a higher time frame perspective. If we don't know where the market wants to go on the higher time frame, then we cannot even look for entries because we have no idea where the market is going. Okay, higher time frame can be four hour, one hour, it doesn't always have to be the daily if we are day traders. Okay. Number two, market structure shift and chalk change of character mean nothing if they don't happen inside our area of interest. They are only significant in an area where we expect them to happen. Okay, not whenever we want to see a market structure shift or a change of character that means we have a trade or the trend is going to change. Okay, it's not always the case. Number three, there is no entry that doesn't have cons. But the best ones are the ones that have more pros than cons, not the ones that don't have cons at all. And what I mean by that, that every entry is going to have its weaknesses, its downsides. Okay, there is no nothing that's going to be 100%, not even 90%. Okay, it's all about the probability. So many factors have to be combined to have a great entry. And there is always a chance of getting stopped out or taking a loss. So in this video, I'm going to take you through the trade I took on the last week of March. And I'm usually sharing those trades live on my Twitter account. Uh, I made this new Twitter account so I can share my trades and to have like some accountability so I don't go out of my plan, you know. So if you're interested in seeing that and seeing my criteria for my entries, uh, follow me on my new Twitter account. I'm going to leave a link in the description. I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process so you can see the way of thinking that I had while taking this trade, okay? okay we're going to start on the one-hour time frame. As we can see, we are bullish. We came here to this high, made a low, and then we made another high, which means we broke the structure right here. So now we are looking for longs, okay? Let's go into the 15 minutes time frame and see what's the situation. So we are trading the New York session. So what do we have here? We have this break. Okay, this break on the 15 minutes time frame. What caused this break? This area right here. Okay, this is the sell to buy which caused this break higher. And on the one hour time frame, we are bullish. Okay, do we have anything that can be a reason to go lower? As we can see, as I can see, I don't see anything. Okay, I don't see anything to stop us from going higher, which means that our bias is still to go long. Now we have identified the higher time frame contest. We have identified our area of interest right here. Okay. Now step number three, all we have to do is wait until the price reaches our area. Okay, and I want you to focus on that because you're going to see at 9.30 how much the price played around, look, before it reaching our area. Okay, this is the trade, but we're going to remove it now. Okay, now it's in our area of interest. What do we want to see here? Now we go to the lower time frame when it reaches our area of interest okay it reached our area of interest what do we want to see this is the step number two that i spoke about here we anticipate a change of character a market structure shift okay here if it happens it doesn't matter like it doesn't matter to us and as you can see we did we broke right here in order just to reach the higher time frame perspective and area of interest which is this so please don't get stuck on the lower time frame. Stay on the higher time frame until it reaches your area of interest. Then you can go to the lower time frames. So as we can see, the price comes here to our area. And now we just wait to see what. Okay, we want to see a break of structure. We want to see what is the last hide who did this low. And we can see this is it, right? This is the last high before the low which means we want to see this breaks this break sorry okay let's see what happens and now we have also this area right here okay which caused the last low 
okay if those don't break then we don't have a trade simple if those break then we have a trade you can put an alarm or you can watch the price as we can see we broke the first one and we broke the second one okay i usually like to see a body close above the above it but we broke here and um almost a bad close you know but it doesn't matter it needs to be significant so now we have two options either wait until we close above this a body uh, candle or this could be enough but we can we should now identify what caused this break of structure right here and we have this one this area okay always take the wicks into consideration as well okay and we have this area right here let's see where we're gonna react from so as we can see we are reacting from this area so for me it's either you can take a trade like that okay or you can take a trade and put your stop loss below this area or below this area okay whichever you like i was a little bit preservative on this area so i took it below like i put my stop loss below below this area right here okay and our take profit is definitely above the highs okay we also have all this liquidity here this is signs this makes our area of interest even more significant and it's also a sign that we're gonna go higher because there's a lot of liquidity left behind so i took my trade here okay it was a little bit aggressive that's why i put my stop loss a little bit lower if i have waited till it break this then i would have my put my stop loss a little bit uh, higher sorry like lower so let's continue what happens next the price breaks okay and it comes back if you see this is a liquidity grab this is an obvious sponsored candle if you don't know what sponsored candle is let me know in the comments below and i can make a video about that okay and if you're enjoying the content so far please consider liking and subscribing to help grow the channel so let's keep going okay so now this is the break of the candle of the sponsored candle and then the retest this is another entry right here okay if you didn't enter let's say here this is a perfect entry right here let's see what happens next of course the, our, our stop is going to be below the sponsored candle what happens next is we go to TP definitely, but I'm gonna tell you what happens because we reached TP, but I expected price to go higher and I didn't take profit. And I did a mistake there, so I want you to learn from it as well. I hope everything is clear about this area. Step number four was we break above the areas that made the last lows. Okay, like this one and this one. And then we identify which candles caused this break okay and this is where we are gonna look for our entries okay as we can see this caused the break so we looked for an entry here on the retests okay also we saw this sponsored candle it's like liquidity grab on the higher time frame it's a wick okay as you can as you can see it's a wick okay so this is sponsored candle then we see the retests and we closed above this so we have two entries now let's continue now i just want to show you one more thing before we end the video it's very important so just stick around and let me show you what happened as we can see here also there is a liquidity beam here okay so we reached the tp right here and i did not take profit because I expected the price to go higher. Okay, because there was nothing, as I showed you on the higher time frame, there was nothing holding us back from not going higher. So I wanted to stick to the trade. But now at this point, I did not want the price to come back and stop me out. So I put my stop loss not at break even, I put it below these lows right here. But this is the mistake I made, okay, because this is liquidity and the price is definitely gonna go below it 
Okay, and to read this, most probably this area. But so my stop loss should have been just at break even, okay, and not out of fear put it somewhere here. I wanted to put it like you should. I should put it out of technicals, which is right here because we can expect. As you can see, you can expect the price to come and take liquidity. But I didn't want to risk it, especially because I was like 5R and then I came. I didn't want it to stop me out. But I learned from it, I understood many things, take profit above the highs and put your stop loss at places that make sense, not out of fear, not out of emotion. Okay, and as we can see, the price continued going higher. So I hope you found this video helpful. I just wanted to show you entry techniques uh, things i learned from my mistakes and uh, and there's another trades like i took like four trades this week and i can take you through them some were losses some were wins but the rewards were so much higher than the losses um in the next video i'm going to be showing you some mistakes that i did taking entries so we can you can learn from that and i will learn more by explaining explaining it to you guys I hope you found this video helpful and if you found it helpful then you will definitely enjoy this one right here.